What's going on, everybody? As always, it's a blessing to be here, and welcome to UL Exchange. If you guys are new to this channel, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you can be informed every single time I drop information-packed videos, just like the one you're watching right now. And before we even start, I want to shout out to all you guys. This video, what I, the previous video, basically, blew up kind of crazy. It got over 1,200 views, as I recall, the last time I checked, but that's pretty insane. But thank you guys for all the support, all the new subscribers. Welcome to this channel. We're all family now and we're here to get this Wi-Fi or internet money together. And we will be destroying anything that comes our way. But that being said, guys, God bless y'all. I appreciate y'all for tuning into this video. Today's title will be about... God bless y'all. I appreciate y'all for tuning into this video. Today's title will be about... Or today's video will be about institutional banks... And SWIFT are ready to light the XRP way, and Wall Street is waiting for regulations. So while I'm talking through this whole video, I will have pictures of things I, should, I want to show you guys, actually. So let's just, you know, get started in this video. Starting off with institutional banks, correct? Okay, and by the way, before I quickly start... All the comments that you guys comment, I do reply to all of them. We had a nice discussion down there with about four or five people. Thomas, let me just shout out the names real quick. Thomas, Amir, AJ, Muhammad, Rick, Chelsea, XOXO. And Sarah, if I'm not mistaken. But if you guys comment, we can have a whole discussion. And, you know, I'm thinking of going live very, very soon so we can all be talking about this. And I do appreciate everybody for commenting, saying the B is for Brazil. The B is for Brazil. I've stated it in multiple videos. I just forgot, or not even forgot, but my mind was somewhere else while I was driving. So it's a better way for me to do a video sitting down. I just did not have that much ample time yesterday. So by that being said, guys, institutional banks and SWIFT are ready to light XRP or to put the lights on XRP. As we have discussed, Swell is coming up very, very soon. And Swell will be on November 16th through 17th of 2022. And I shall give you guys more updates when the dates are coming and what happens during that specific time of Swell. By that being said, guys, why are the banks heading and the institutional banks and SWIFT heading with the ready on the light to XRP? These are the pictures I'll be posting, so get ready. You can see them on wherever the right side or left side. But over top 100 banks are working with Ripple. And you guys can see the list from 1 to 14, and then the list from 15 through 37. You can pause the video, take a look at any bank you like. 37 through 58, 59 to 81. I'll tell you guys the reason why I'm doing this. 82 to 100. Over 100 institutional banks. So if you are a bank, think of yourself and put, put yourself in the shoes of banks, right? So if you are a bank and you already signed a deal with Ripple, wouldn't you want to use the technology? Or don't you think that you have at least tested the technology by now? Yes, so if you have at least tested the technology and you are ready to go, what is the only thing holding you? Now we move on to what? Wall Street waiting for regulations. The only thing holding the world to move on, you know, with Swift putting this technology out or releasing it to the, to the masses or to the public, of course we know it's Ripple putting out the XRP technology with XRP Ledger on on-demand liquidity, ODL. Do not forget that. Swift is the one that's interplaying and putting it out there. For that to occur, guys... There needs to be regulatory in crypto, which is good to a certain extent and which is bad to a certain extent as well. The bad side is we won't be seeing so many coins being created, but the good side is, of course, we won't be seeing a lot of pumps and dumps. But still, we need regulatory clarity for XRP to define what XRP is to the, basically think of it as we're living in a box of XRP army, but they need to define it to everybody else outside of the XRP army so those people can invest into XRP. That's how you have to think about it because we XRP Army truly understand the potential and the power of what XRP is doing and all the ISO 222 qualified tokens for the people that are even scared because the SEC is suing them. 
They need regulatory clarity. And Wall Street gets sued almost every year. Do you think they want to pick up XRP and be sued again? Even though, take a look at this. The writing is on the walls. All Ripple is marketing in UK. All of Ripple marketing is in uh, Wall Street. Why did they happen and correlate at the same exact time? Unless there's something coming very, very soon. So my comments I was discussing about how it may happen soon, you know, but even we got it from the horse of the mouth. That's what we always look for. You don't want to hear somebody calling, it may end in 2024, but where's the evidence, right? Or, you know, it's how they say my source or whatever it is at the end of the day, but where is the evidence? If it comes from the mouth of the horse, Brad Gardinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, we can at least have reassurance that it won't be going past that time, which is March of 2023, Q1. And why, 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 why is Swift waiting for the ISO 222 implementation till March? Because they know, worst case scenario, it can take that long. So over here, we have Swift institutional bankers ready, like, hey, we are ready to go. This is what we've been waiting for all this time. Can we get some stupid clarity or what's going on? And they're all mad and angry. And over here, we have the SEC saying, I feel like it's a fake lawsuit, but that's just my perspective. You can agree with me or you can disagree. From my perspective, my digital perspective, I feel like it's a fake lawsuit. It's just playing this play and letting people get fighted up. So this is not financial advice at all. All I tell you is educational purposes only. I'm giving you guys the truth and the facts. You decide what you want to do with it. At the end of the day, you make the final call. But what I believe, my digital perspective, is this is just a fake lawsuit to fight us out. If you have been in XRP for long enough to, for you to even realize what the potential of XRP is, it's just a whole, so you cannot be fighted out. And I'm posting a video tomorrow telling you guys how it just blew my mind. It's literally, everything is in the, in the writing of the wall, guys. It's literally in our faces and we're having a hard time believing it. But just quickly touch on the subject. Why is there only 100 billion supply of XRP tokens? I'll be posting a whole video on why XRP is supposed to be five digits and above. Again, my digital perspective, but from all the research I have done, oh guys, this coin is supposed to blow and it's going to blow. That's my perspective. Not financial advice, but it is going to blow. And I'm gonna be here just laughing all my way to the moon. Just, you know, I'm not even gonna be on the floor. I'm literally going on a rocket to the, like I am the rocket. All the XRP army, we're all the rocket and we're gonna be shooting up. That's all it's supposed to be. That's how hard they have been suppressing the price of XRP. If you don't understand it, 2018 bull run, boom, it went crazy. And after that, it just came crashing down, stayed at 20 cents for the longest. And then it kept correlating to about 60 cents, came down, and then lawsuit happened back to 2017 cents, which down to 17, stayed around 20. And now it went all the way up to $1.91 and came back down. Why do you think they keep doing this? Guys, the true potential is in our faces. It's not even hidden. It's not hidden. If you do your own research or you come to these videos and look at these articles or everything that's going on between the banks, the interledger protocol, why is XRP thriving? Why is there still over $20 billion within XRP? It makes no sense unless there's something truly going on, that there is a final outcome that we truly understand as XRP Army will happen. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel, guys. We're going to the moon. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not here to give you hopium. That's, what, that's one thing I hate. But when you know the true potential of what you hold, you know it. That's all I got to say. And make sure you don't let no institutional bankers or SWIFT or even anybody fudge you out. Because when, when that day comes, that day will come. God bless y'all for all the support. I'll see you on the next video. And tomorrow's video, pay attention. This is the true reason why XRP is meant to be above five digits. Can even be 10. Who knows? God bless y'all. See you in the next video. Peace out.